hey guys welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about conditionals in zig so say you wanted to write a program and while writing your program you wanted to execute some statements based on some condition being true or false so i'm going to make um, some example here so um, okay so i'm gonna make some example here i'm going to have a boolean variable so i'm gonna call this um, age and this is going to be a bool so a boolean variable is something that evaluates to true or false so it's an expression that evaluates to true or false uh, oh so age is going to be like an, an integer sorry because uh, it's age and so i'm gonna set that to 18 to start with and so what i want to do is i want you to print something out to the screen depending on the value of age so i want to say that if age is greater than or equal to 18 um, then i could print something like std.log.info you are an adult and of course get that out uh, so what is going to happen is the the computer is going to evaluate this statement and it's going to check it's going to test for this age and check if the value of age is greater than or equal to 18 if that is the case then it's going to print out the statement um, if that is not the case then it's just going to leave this block of code and it's not going to execute anything inside of these called braces so let's check this out and see what we get uh, i'm going to create a new tab here and i'm going to move it down here as a split uh, i'm trying to see i could leave it here right and then i want this to be at the top um what is this um okay i'm just gonna leave it at, um, right here for now so what i'm gonna do is um, um yeah so i'm gonna only run zig build run to test this so and so you see we get your own adult and the reason why we have that uh, let me make this expand yeah so the reason why we have your an adult printed is because when we look at the value of age you see that it's 18 so age is greater than or equal to 18 evaluates to true so what happens is when you want to work with conditionals if statements whatever is inside of the braces um, needs to evaluate to a boolean so basically you're saying that you want something an expression to evaluate to true or false and you want to execute some code based on that so if you want to see so let's just check this out if if the expression evaluates to false what happens so running this we're going to see that nothing gets printed out on the screen because this is not true anymore so age is not greater than or equal to 18 age is 17. so say we wanted to print something um, so basically we want to check if we are a for greater than or equal to 18 We want to print something and if that is not the case, then we want to print something else So we can do that using the else statement. So what the else uh, what else allows us to do is to uh, What else allows us to do is to print something if the if statement is not true so if this evaluates to false then we're going to print whatever is inside or we're going to execute the statements inside of this else block so how are we going to do that what should we print here we're going to say uh, we're going to say you're still young 
because you're not an adult yet and there we go so now we're gonna zig build run again and now you should see this printed out you're still young because age is 17 and this evaluates to false so this is what you're gonna see if you if this if i if i turn this back to 18 and this gets printed the else block is not going to be evaluated so if else allows you to execute conditionals based on um, testing some expression and if that evaluates to true you print what is in the if block if it doesn't you print what is in the else block as you can see right here so how do we um, so another thing we can look at with if um, statements is what if we want to test for multiple conditions so let's say that I'm checking if age is greater than or equal to 18 here but I also wanted to check if um, age is greater than or equal to 16 I want to print something else all right um, all right so how do we do that so we have something called else if and zig that allows us to test for multiple conditions um, so if this doesn't evaluate to true it's going to go and evaluate the next condition and we do that using this else if so as you can see we just have the else keyword space if and then we can uh, we can put our curly braces and so what this else if allow you to do is to check greater than or equal to 16. Uh, so what this means is that if age is not up to 18 then we check is it up to 16 or greater than that if that is the case I wanted to print something else I wanted to print um, you're getting there and here printing this out now we're gonna see that if we try to run the program you're gonna see here we get you're an adult because this is 18 if I change this to 17 and I run the program again then you're gonna get you're getting there so this means that this this check it evaluates this piece of code and it returns false so it checks for this and this evaluates to true so we just execute it notice that you didn't execute this block of code and it didn't execute this code so this is exactly how conditionals work and depending on uh, how many conditionals you want to have you could you could have as many so we could have we could have another um 10 or something uh, let's do like ages less than 10 and we could do you're way too young and so if i set this to something like eight we should get uh yep we should get your way too young so because age is now eight so it's going to evaluate this doesn't evaluate to true it's going to check for this doesn't evaluate to true it checks for this it evaluates to true because age is less than 10 and this gets printed if any of this evaluates to true then the else block is going to execute of course the else, the else block is optional and you can leave it out but that's exactly how it works so that is all about if statements now let's talk about switch statements so having this kind of code where you have if else if else if else if is okay but switch statements allow you to write this in a much uh, more compact way so whenever you find yourself writing a lot of else if else if then that means that you should be using switch statements instead so what are switch statements um let's let's take a look at that uh i need to delete this All right there we go so what i'm gonna do is i want to write switch on the age Okay, so how do we do this? So what we can do now is I want to check from 0 to 10. Um, 
So this is exactly how you're going to write like your switch statement. So I'm basically saying I want to check um, from age zero to ten. I think this should actually be one because I don't think. Oh well, I guess. So we have from one to ten, and then we could have like from eleven to twenty. So this 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 um, three dots you can see here is actually. Um, a range operator so it allows you to specify a range from this range um, this is only used in switch statements by the way you cannot use it in other um, in other constructs in zig uh, as far as I'm aware so you could then check um, so you could also I believe you could also have a conditioner here that says um, uh, let's see I want to omit this. Um, nope. I'm trying to find. Okay. okay. So we have this else, else, else. All right there we go. So what we what we have here is a range. I'm simply saying that I want to check if age is one to ten or eleven to twenty. I think this is fine. We could have it like 1, 2, 16, and maybe 17, 2, 20. Uh, I could also have like single values. So for example, I could have like, I don't know, maybe like four. Yep. And then we have a comma at the end. So I'm gonna do like, so, Basically, what I'm trying to show you here is when you have your switch inside of the block or the curly braces, you write the condition, um, what you want the switch to test for in this. Um, so basically, you want your age to test against four, against um, the range of one to 16, 17 to 20, and else basically is like a catch-all if all of these don't evaluate or don't equal to whatever you're trying to test for in age then this is it so then we could have like four years old so here we could also check um, we could also print Here we could also print something like that, and then we'd be like, um, info, there we go, um, and else we're gonna do, mm -mm info. So we're printing out basically what we're doing is we're trying to print out a bunch of things depending on um, what these switch um, cases evaluate to. So here I'm going to have There we go, and save that, and I believe this is it. So we could run this to test. the The number is currently eight, so this should evaluate to this. Um, but I want to set it to false so we can see um, the first case being evaluated. So save that. Uh, there we go. Zig build run and we have an error. Previous value here. Duplicate switch value. Okay, fine. Um, zero to four. So the four is already the um, uh, part of this like switch list. So that was why we have that error. I'm going to have like. Um, save that run again and 
see you're less than four years old okay so that's where that's what we have here um so let's let's get like uh, maybe 18 back there and we see what that prints so you would run again and we have this printed out okay so that is all you need to know um also we switch statements you can also run functions to evaluate um, or return some values to check for so for example i could do something like calculate or let's just do something like get age and this is going to work uh get age doesn't exist so returns on a u32 what am i doing right return maybe like 21 i guess yeah maybe so what this is going to do is it's going to run this function so basically this means that you could have any expression that evaluates to whatever value you want and have it part of your switch statement so what what this is going to be is info hmm. we have this there we go and now running this we should get well we should get what we had but now if i try to say something like 21 uh 21 there we go and run this we should now see that this evaluates that so that means that we could have we could run some function and have some computation then test the result of that against whatever the variable name is and this is still gonna work um, that'll be all for this video about conditionals thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye